Hey guys, welcome back to GuitarBreakdown.com. This is Carl, and we're going to uh, further explore the shuffle picking lick that we found near the end of the solo from Scapegoat Blues by Jimmy Herring. And uh, in the uh, earlier segments, I talked a lot about the actual uh, lick and showed the lick in context with the B-flat half-hold diminished scale. But uh, let's check it out in some other um, environments that might be a little bit more common and uh, hopefully would inspire you to explore this lick a little further and maybe find some really uh, fun ways to play it in your own music. First of all, let's just take it to the most common scale we can uh, come up with, which would probably be, uh, for guitar players anyway, a uh, minor pentatonic scale in the uh, uh, standard box pattern. So let's play that in, uh, let's just use the key of D, it'll be kind of comfortable up here. So 10th fret, um, the shape. really common thing so uh, um, almost everybody knows that scale uh, and if you don't uh, you can slow down the video here. Um, but it's uh, <clears throat> you know standard shape and let's take that uh, lick and just find it in this shape so if I were to just apply it to the top two strings um, the pattern is going to start it will start on the low note um, you could start on the high note would be uh, another way to play it. But let's start on the low note and we'll start on the A. Um, hammer on to the C, so we're starting at 10th fret, 2nd string A. And hammer on with the little finger or 3rd finger, whichever you like, to the 13th fret of the 2nd uh, string C. And then uh, we'll up pick, up stroke on the D on the 10th fret of the 1st string. And then a down stroke on the F of the uh, first string at the 13th fret and do a pull off. So, so far we've got and then we're coming back down, we'll do an upstroke on the C and then we just repeat. Okay, so that's that shuffle pattern that I was talking about. Uh, it goes <clears throat> downstroke, uh, either a hammer on or a pull off, upstroke, and then it just repeats like that. That's just the triplet pattern. So. Now we could start with the, the high note and it would be just the same thing but uh, just starting in the middle of what I just did. Okay, so now let's just explore the other fingerings real quick. So we come down to the next string and we've got, uh, starting on F, we've got the third string, 10th uh, fret, hammer on to the G on the 12th fret of the third string, and then upstroke on the A of the uh, second string. 10th fret, so A, and then uh, downstroke on the C of the 13th fret, pull off uh, to the A, and then upstroke on the 12th fret G, and start over. Okay, and then the next pattern will just be uh, just the 10th fret and the 12th fret on each string. So we have uh, C on the 10th fret of the 4th string, hammer on to the 12th fret, go to the next string, upstroke on the F of the 10th fret, and then downstroke on the G, pull off, and then an upstroke on the D. Okay, move to the next pattern, it'll be the same exact frets. next pattern down or next set of strings down will be starting on the, the D and now we have to use a little finger unless you know I mean I guess you could use a third okay so those patterns you try to practice them all get comfortable with them uh, and you'll find you know, kind of cool little patterns that you could do in your lead little uh, connecting patterns and repetitious stuff to build uh, tension with. So let's move to the next thing. Um, moving on uh, using those same patterns, let's just move, make them move across the uh, shape. So <clears throat> with this we'll uh, start where we did um, in the very beginning. So starting on the uh, 10th fret A of the second string. It's the same exact thing and all we're going to do, we just have to connect the next pattern down. So instead of coming back to that C when we come back down we're gonna come down to the next string and the next note down uh, the you know that note on the the high note of that string on the pentatonic scale in this case would be a G on the third uh, string so <clears throat> and 
then we just start the next pattern. Okay, so now we've got a, a way to play this that moves across the fretboard. Across the string. So um, now to do an ascending version of it, we could do the same kind of thing and we'll just uh, jump up uh, a string, jump over the fifth string. Each time you just skip a string. So this uh, ascending pattern starts on the D, 10th uh, fret, and hammers onto the 13th fret F, and then you jump a string, so go to the 4th string with an upstroke on the uh, C and at the 10th fret and hammer onto, uh, or actually down pick, the uh, 12th fret D. And then it pull off, and now uh, instead of skipping a string, you go back and catch the missing string, which you're going to have. Uh, the upstroke on the A of the uh, 12th fret, 5th um, string. And then we just start over. And we do that to every pair. So the whole group So, uh, you know, experiment with that. Uh, makes a cool little lead lick. Okay, so now let's take that, uh, that same idea and just find some other places. Like, what happens if we have the blues scale? <clears throat> Which has a little, you know, has a couple of strings and might have three notes on them if you're doing the standard pattern. Okay, so let's just take that, a little spot of that scale, and uh, like right here, um, this will be kind of an interesting one that's easy. We'll take the, uh, starting on the C of the fourth string and uh, tenth fret. We'll do the same pattern we did before. Let's just add that new note that's in the blues scale because we have the tritone there, which is a you know, really nice note. So well, it's kind of a mean note, I guess. But uh, anyway, so we're going to take that note and, and listen to how that sounds uh, just alternating those two. Kind of cool. Okay, let's take that same thing and move it up. Put some distortion on it and play it. Really cool, uh, kind of a fun little mean sound when you get that tritone in there. So uh, uh, just add that to that phrase and uh, another fun thing to practice with it. <laughs> 